Parietal Bone Introduction The parietal bones are paired bones. They form by their union, the sides and roof of the cranium. Each bone is irregularly quadrilateral in form and has four borders and four angles. The four borders include sagittal, frontal, squamous, and occipital. The four angles include frontal, sphenoidal, mastoid, and occipital. Borders The sagittal border articulates with its fellow of the opposite side, forming the sagittal suture. The frontal borders of both parietal bones articulate with the frontal bone, forming the coronal suture. The squamous border is divided into three parts. The anterior portion articulates with the tip of the greater wing of the sphenoid. The middle portion articulates with the squamous temporal. And the posterior portion articulates with the mastoid portion of the temporal. The occipital borders of both parietal bones articulate with the occipital bone, forming the lambdoid suture. Angles the frontal angle corresponds with the point of meeting of the sagittal and coronal sutures, called the bregma. In the fetal skull, it corresponds in position with the anterior fontanelle. The sphenoidal angle is received into the interval between the frontal bone and the greater wing of the sphenoid. Its inner surface is marked by a deep groove for the anterior divisions of the middle meningeal artery. The mastoid angle is received into the interval between the occipital bone and the mastoid portion of the temporal bone. The point of meeting of these three bones is named the asterion. The occipital angle corresponds with the point of meeting of the sagittal and lambdoid sutures, termed the lambda. In the fetal skull, it corresponds in position with the posterior fontanelle. External surface the external surface is convex and smooth. It is marked near the center by an eminence, the parietal eminence, which indicates the point where ossification commenced. Crossing the middle of the bone in an arched fashion are two curved lines, the superior and inferior temporal lines. Below these lines, the bone forms part of the temporal fossa. At the back part, and close to the sagittal border, is the parietal foramen, which is not constantly present and is of variable size. Internal surface The internal surface is concave. It presents markings for the cerebral convolutions and numerous furrows for the branches of the middle meningeal vessels. Along the upper margin is a shallow groove, which, together with that on the opposite parietal, forms the sagittal sulcus. Near the sulcus are several depressions for the arachnoid granulations, also known as pachyonian bodies. Thank you.